What up everybody, welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach. In today's video, we're gonna show you two different methods that you can use to, to declare an empty string in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. What up everybody, so like I mentioned, we're gonna be talking about the two different methods you, you can use to declare an empty string in Python. Um, and so method number one, jumping right into it, is essentially just writing a string um, with no values in it. So it could be with a single quote, just like I did here. It could be with a double quote. Uh, it could be with a multi-line quote. All this will be an empty string. And if I run it down here, I get, you'll see I'll, I'm gonna print out the, the, the what's gonna be in it. And I'm gonna use this function called a uh, repr, which will basically just uh, give you like, it'll show you the string with like the quotes, because otherwise it'll just show empty and nothing will be there. So you don't know if there's any spaces or not. And so I wanted to use this repr function to essentially show you like where it ends. Um, and then I'm going to show you the type and the type should be a string type. So if we run this, what you get is method number one, it's a string with its type is also a string. And again, like I mentioned, this could be, um, just this or same results, or it could be a single quote. You're going to get the same result, but essentially that is one method and probably one of the most common ways that someone can um, declare an empty string in Python. Now, in method two, we're gonna talk about how um, you can just declare a string, which is probably more familiar for those coming from more of like a C, uh, C++ background where you have to like initiate a constructor. So let's start talking about method number two. Hey, I just wanna jump in real quick, say thank you so much for watching the video so far. If it's providing you value, please click that like button below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so we can learn more about software development and programming. And well, speaking of programming, let's get right back to it. So method number Number two um, is essentially you just write the string constructor. So for those familiar with um, you know C, C++, stuff like that where you have to initiate constructors, those those type of programming languages um, and other languages where you actually use a type most mostly, uh, you're probably more familiar with like having to declare the destruct constructor of something um, before before going in and saying like you know it's, you know it's something like like an empty string or whatnot. Um, and usually like in a constructor in those languages kind of gives you the default string which in Python, like you would assume like the default string is empty. So in this method, you can declare an empty string doing the same thing. So if I uh, just add on method number two here, you'll see that if I print this out, they should give you the exact same answer. And other than this method to this saying method two, you can see that that's the same answer. So those are the two different methods that you can use to declare an empty string in Python. Try this out on your code, see what you like best. You'll probably, in my guess, just end up using this most of the time. Um, but there are cases where you may need to do this. Uh, and so see what works for you, what works for your program. And until next time, keep on programming.